Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a brand new eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be trying out and this is the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. I actually got it in the mail last night after I got home from work and look at this. And look at this. You guys are going to learn how to create this exact same look. So I'm using a ton of Urban Decay products, including the eyeshadow palette. So if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then you guys can go ahead and keep on watching. And while you guys watch, you already know, hit that subscribe button down below so you can join my Frida family. And now let's go ahead and get started. So I think I'm just going to start with my face today instead of my eyes like I usually do. So I'm going to go ahead and use this e.l.f. Natural Glow Lotion. I've been using this a lot lately and I actually really, really like it. It smells really good and it feels really good on the skin. It's very moisturizing. And then it also gives you a glow. It's not one of those like glittery, gl glittery glows. It's one of those like natural within type of glows. Now I'm going in with foundation. And the two foundations I'm going to mix because this one's too pale, but this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And this is in the shade 3.5. I believe it's too pale because I use this kind of transitioning, but this one is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation, and this is in the shade MN3, and this is pretty dark. This, I think, is pretty light, if I remember correctly, so yeah, it's definitely super light. I'm just putting a little bit of each foundation. I know this is probably the most random mixture of foundation, but I'm really big into mixing. I don't know about you guys, but I like to kind of just see what foundations mix like together and that one's a super full coverage one and this one's just more of a natural one so i think i'm going to take a brush first and this is a sigma f80 and then i'll take my beauty blender after And now I'm just pressing the foundation more into the skin with this beauty blender. When I'm mixing two different shades of foundation, I find it easier to mix them together first using a brush to apply it and then kind of going over it with a sponge because it's super hard to go in with a sponge with two different shades and mix them if you haven't mixed them like on your hand before. This color still looks a little bit lighter, but that's okay because I'm going to warm it up using this Benefit Hula Quickie Contouring Stick and just kind of bronze up the face with this oh my god this chunk just fell out i'm gonna stick you right back in there okay where's okay and i'm just blending it out using my mac 130 brush it's time to conceal so I'm using my favorite combination which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is more of my summertime shade and this is the light, light neutral shade. And then if you guys have been here you know that I like to add a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape just underneath my eyes. Like a couple dots because I do have really dark bags. I've said that so many times in the last couple videos but I always go to people's videos and they're like, well, you guys already know what my routine is. And I'm like, girl, I just got here. I don't know what you're talking about. So for those of you that have never been here, I take the Urban Decay and then a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape and just kind of go in with my Beauty Blender. Now, once everything is blended out the way I want it to, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and just set where I put the concealer. And then I'll bronze up where we put that um, Hula Quickie contouring stick. The bronzer I'm using today is the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. I've already almost hit pan on this. Ugh, I feel like I have, I feel like I have a hair in my nose. While I'm waiting for those two sections to bake, I'm going to use this blush. This is such a beautiful warm blush for the summertime. This is Becca in the color Tiger Lily. It is so, so beautiful, but so pigmented. Like I literally just need like a little bit, blow it off. And look how much warmth it gives to the skin. It's so pretty. As for highlight, I'm using this Dose of Colors um, Desi X Katie collection in the color Fuego. I've been really liking this highlight 
now that I'm tan enough to use it. I wasn't able to use it in the winter time and I'm pretty sure I got it in the winter time. So I was never really able to try it out and see if I liked it with my skin tone. And now I'm like loving it. I'm gonna keep the brows really simple. So I'm using my Benefit Gimme Brow and the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I'm not even really gonna fill them in. I'm just gonna use the Gimme Brow to fill it in with a little bit of pigment, but I ran out of precisely my brow pencil. So I'm just kind of winging it for now. I don't even need to fill my brows like they're already pretty full as is like with my natural hair so the gimme brow actually is like perfect just to fill in those sparse little areas and make it look like a little bit more fluffy <laughs> I don't want to call my eyebrows fluffy but like I don't know Okay, you guys, now I can use the palette. I'm using the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited to try this out. I have decided I'm going to do more of like a warm orangey pink shade or eyeshadow look. I go in with this one to begin with and this is still shot. I'm gonna use that as my transition shade. So far, it's blending out pretty good. Not having any issues there. I'm gonna go ahead and take that same still shot color and kind of smoke out my lower lashes. Since my face is already done, I can kind of just do the eyes all together. Next, I'm taking my Sigma E40 brush, which is a little bit more tapered, and I'm going to take the color Baja, which is the orange one. The thing I will say that's annoying me about this palette is that the mirror just kind of like hangs down. I wish that it would stay right here because it's like annoying to have it flop over, but whatever. And I'm just working that shade into my crease to deepen it up a little bit more. Definitely not having any issues blending it out. There's no patchiness or anything with these shadows, so I'm really, really happy with how this look is turning out so far, but now I'm going to move on to the shade Hell Ride, which is like a darker plum color. And I'm going to take that on a smaller tapered blending brush, which is my Morphe M506. I'm going to work that onto the outer corner and then use a little bit smaller of a brush for um, like tight lining my lower lash line. I'm just kind of starting to pack it on this outer corner. This dark plum shade Hell Ride that I'm trying to use right now for the outer corner is getting a little bit patchy, but not anything terrible. I just kind of have to pack it on rather than blend it on. And then I'm taking a flat brush like this with that same color to tight line it down here. Probably already guess what's next if you've been to my channel. I'm going to cut out my inner corner, so I'm taking a little bit of that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on the back of my hand, a smaller lid brush, and just carving out the inner corner so I can put a bomb shade inside of it. So far, I am pretty happy with that. So now I think the shade I'm gonna take is Wild Heart, which is a shimmery purple. I'm so excited, I hope this is really pigmented. So far that color is pretty pigmented and I didn't use any Fix Plus setting spray or anything, but I'm actually going to try it out with setting spray um, and see. Ah, oh, that's much better. It wasn't bad before, but this, much better. I kind of want to leave the inner corner, not alone, but I want to keep it pretty bright, so. I need to find a brush that doesn't have anything on it. I don't clean my brushes, so that's not 
Okay, we're going to take the color Breakaway, which is this light shimmery. It looks like a little bit of a shimmer shade. So we're gonna try that one out and we're gonna see how that looks on the inner corner. I'm done with the eyeshadow, so now I'm just going to put on some lashes. These are the Euphoria by Jazzy Lashes in the style Honey Love. They are so beautiful. They're not super dramatic, but I'm going to go ahead and put those on off camera. Then I'll be right back so we can do the lips. So real quickly, I need to coat my bottom lashes. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, and this is just the regular black one. And I'm going to take a little bit on my lower lashes. I know I've been using a lot of Urban Decay and I would use that on my lips too, but I actually have a brand new liquid lipstick that I'm really excited to try. Um, this is the new Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick from his summer collection in the color 818. And I'm just really excited to try it. That color is really pretty, but it's also really bright. So I'm gonna try and tone it down using the other liquid lipstick that I just came out with in the color Soft Serve. Last but not least, I have to set my face and they actually came out, I don't know if this is a new product because I have the All Nighter Setting Spray, but it has the same packaging as this new palette and it's the Urban Decay Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. So I don't know if it's like the the, all-nighter or not regardless we're gonna use it today so done this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed watching me use all these urban decay products and this new urban decay eyeshadow palette let me know what other shades that you guys want to see me use inside of this palette i'm dying to use these blue and green shades because they are beautiful but yeah thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today and i will hopefully see you guys in my next video bye